Hey y'all, I'm finally back <laughs> after a little more than a week uh, to show you guys how to make these buttons. Um, I'm gonna do some for the Christmas stuff I'm working on. And I'm still, you know, I'm working on Christmas still. <clears throat> and I knew that my plan, you know, <laughs> you know how you have a plan and then you wanna have a deadline and yeah, never. I always need, I need to give myself more time every time I say that and give myself a deadline. But anyway, so we're now in September and I'm still doing my Christmas stuff and hoping in the next couple of weeks, well, in the next couple of weeks, it'll, it'll be finished. Um, but I'll probably still come back and do some more videos. But today I'm going to show you guys how I make how I made these buttons. Um, you can't even see that little hole there. There we go. How I made these little paper fabric cover buttons that some of you wanted to wanted to see. So I figured um, some of these I can use for Christmas already, but I thought I would just show you how simple this is. So what you'll need is, um, you know, cereal boxes, cracker boxes, or box, you don't need a ton of them because you only need a couple of these. Um, anything that's just a lightweight chipboard and a hole punch, you know, circle punch. And this is a one inch circle punch. Sorry for the glare on that. This is an old Recollections one. Um, these are pretty easy to find. You can probably find them at Michael's Hobby Lobby, Amazon, you know, a lot of different places if you don't have one. Um, but you need one, you need one like this, um, that will punch through, you know, a lightweight chipboard because not all of them will do that. Some of the ones that are handheld, um, will not, let's see, like I have some of these Fiskars punches like this. This will not punch through lightweight chipboard. This will punch through cardstock, but um, it will, however, it will punch through like file folder, like that thickness. So you can use this type of punch um, and use file folders and just use maybe another layer or two. Cause so I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of hearts too. But um, for like the, what I use for the circles, um, it won't punch through that because this is a little bit thicker. Anyhow, so grab your, you need some fabric scraps, you need some punches, and I'm gonna use art glitter glue. Um, you can use a wet glue, you could use fabric tack, um, but really it works with just a little bit of this, works really well. So all you do is you punch your little circles, okay? And I'm just gonna take two and I'm gonna glue two together. Good Lord, okay. My pen's stuck in there. Right. And I'm gonna glue them. Um, you can sand these two if you want to, if you feel like it would adhere a little bit better, but I haven't had a problem. And of course my glue is gonna be blocked up. Okay. You really don't need much glue at all. You know, just a few little drops. And then just squish these together. And see, I didn't need that much glue. And um, so you got two layers. Now you can make these thicker. I used to make them a lot thicker. Um, but I've found with this, you really, you really don't need them Sometimes I tend to go overboard. You really don't need them super thick um, because it just creates more bulk. But if you wanna do, you know, three layers, um, this is pretty sturdy. So you just do two, I just do two. And then I'm gonna try, I wanna try on this little strip. I wanna like see what it would look like on like like the little gingerbread in or something. So I'm just gonna take more glue 
and um, a little bit light on this because you don't want it to come through your fabric if you're using a little bit thinner fabric. So I'm gonna try to see if I can't get a little gingerbread. A little gingerbread girl in there. So you just take them and glue them onto your, glue them onto your fabric, little scraps. And this is really, really so simple. Um, and you can do it so many different ways. There are so many, so many different ways to do this. So we're just gonna glue a few of them. I should have prepped a few, but I didn't. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I have been super busy with uh, work and the changes going on at work. Um, and then I took took a few days off last week and went to see my sister um, in Hampstead. And um, that was a nice little break, I needed it. <clears throat> so I didn't get any videos done last week. So, apologize for that guys, but yeah, I need a little bit of a break. And we had a good time. We did some, um, we did a little bit of shopping. Uh, I'm telling you, my, we, we just don't have, like even here, the thrift stores that I used to have access to are no more in my area. And, um, you know, still love my favorite shop. I just, it, it's an hour away from me, so I just don't go out there that much. And, and I really, I don't need anything. Like I've told you guys a gazillion times. Um, but I still like to go, you know, I still like to get out and look from time to time. All right, we're gonna let those dry. And then um, when I go to Tammy's, we really enjoy getting out and doing that. And so we did go to a couple of places. Uh, there's a new place down there that's sort of a, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's called, I think it's called Bazaar. So if you're ever in Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, go check that out. It's a new place. Um, I think it's off of College Road near the university. If I remember correctly where we were, you can look it up. They've got a site where they're like, a, um, they have different, um, it's kind of like a flea market mall, but it's not really, like when I go, when I say thrift store guys, I don't know about y'all, but like when I'm looking for, I like junk stores, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like one man's trash is another man's treasure sort of places. And, um, you know, or true thrift stores. Um, this is not really a, it's not really a true thrift store. It's more like a, um, sort of like a new slash antique slash mall vintage antique. Um, Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just, you can just sit here and just make, you can make tons of these <laughs> um, real quick like. But anyway, so my idea, you know, of thrifting is thrift. This place was pretty cool. Um, I did find a, I did find a cantha blanket in there for a really good price, which I was shocked. So it's a mix up of new things and then um, older things, antique, there's furniture, there's books, there's, uh, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Um, different types of crafts, crafted things. And there were some really cool, adorable, adorable little dresses um, that I would love to make for my grandkids, but, um, I don't know. They're just so, they, my little girls are so rough on stuff, but they had these adorable little dresses y'all made from like just old cotton sheets and then the vintage linens, you know, with the, um, like the needlepoint and embroidered linens, just a little simple, like tied up sundresses. They were absolutely adorable. Um, 
But anyhow, so I found a cancer quilt in there, and then we went to this place called Flea Bodies, which is neat. It's like a vintage market. It's like a consignment place. And I found, um, all right, so we let these dry, okay? Let them dry pretty good. So we're gonna set them for a second, and I'm gonna cut this heart out. So I did the same thing with this hearts. Only I used the file folder and I think I did like three layers of file folder. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this out. Anyway, there's this place called Flea Bodies. Um, now that's a really cool place. But I'm gonna tell you guys, like, I, I don't know if y'all have noticed, I know I've noticed that the more popular that repurposing things become, which has just become such a, such a huge trend um, in our world today, people are starting to get really, um, greedy <laughs> in my mind. Some of the prices were just a little bit out of hand in my opinion, but it's like, I think it's just like everything else right now. Everything is just expensive. You know, everything's just, everything is just ridiculous. Um, and I just don't have... You know, those, I don't have my thrift stores anymore. This all good. I'm just rambling. I'm just trying to talk while I'll tell you guys what I've been doing while I'm doing this. So, see, isn't that cute? So, what we can do, we can make this into a button, but I thought what I would do with this is, like, maybe make um, some little charms, you know? Um, you could double, you know, you could put something on the back, another fabric on the back and make it double-sided. But I think I'm gonna leave them like this. I may even try to just run it. I don't know if I'll try to run it all through my sewing machine, um, but maybe across it and put like a little button or something on it or a little saying. So these are, I think these would just be really cute um, as charms, aren't they neat? So I did that one double-sided, okay. So you can do this with all kinds of shapes, you know, whatever you feel like you can cut out. Um, but I made, you know, I made a couple of hearts. So I think that'll be fun. And then, let's see if these are dry. So then we're just gonna get you a good sharp, you know, a good sharp pair of scissors um, to cut these out. But this is so simple, y'all. And you can wrap them. You know, there's there's just so many ways to do these things. Um, but I was just playing around one day, and I thought, how cute to so see. And then, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, you need something to punch your holes. So for me, I, I'm going to use this. Um, you can just use an awl and you know put something underneath it and poke your holes. But for here, what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball. Okay, so there's one hole. And then, doesn't have to be perfect. And there's another hole. These are my mama's scissors, y'all. I wish I could find me a new pair of these. I don't know what. If anybody knows what brand these are, they're heavy. But man, they're super sharp. I found them in her sewing case. I forgot, I didn't realize I even had them. Anyway, so there's your little button, okay? And you can make, you know, whatever you want to out of these. Um, you can make them into charms. You can just do paper buttons. You can do stars. Um, I don't know that I'd want to cut out the stars. I'd use probably need to use like an X-Acto knife to cut the fabric off the stars, but it would work. But yeah. So just super easy, super fun. And then you could take and, you know, string, um, string them, put twine through them, you know, make little bows. So you could take, um, so I've got some of this handy. And this is a little bit harder to get through these holes, I will tell you. easier um depending on what you want to use you get a needle out and thread it uh, i don't even want it going in the 
that way I want it. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Lord, I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. Anyway, I found a, um, I did find, I cut that way too long. I did find a really pretty, and I, and there's a reason why I'm telling you this. So I did find a really, really pretty linen, vintage, like nice linen, um, tablecloth. And I made some bags. So I'm going to do a video today showing you guys those. Um, I've got four of them that'll be available if anybody's interested in purchasing. I'm just going to do it through PayPal if anybody wants them. And then, you know, if not, I'll put them in the shop later. But, um, yeah, they're really pretty, y'all. So, yeah, so you could just do this. You know, you could tie your little bow on it. Leave it long. And add that to, you know, add that to a paper clip or another embellishment or on a tab. Um, super easy, super fun, super fast, really, really fast. Um, yeah. yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> see what these look like yeah and I've been um so I'm gonna I'm gonna come back with those later today if anybody's interested and then I've been working on you know the journals that are spoken for and then I've been working on um I'm working on the binder that I haven't showed you guys yet oh, gosh I just have a craft lunch over here so I'm also working on this binder that I have a lot of stuff in here already. Um, and I've been working on embellishments, you know, for the other journals. Um, yeah. Yep. So let's see. I got a bunch of stuff tucked back here. So there's this one um, that I've been working on. If anybody's interested in this one, um, yeah, let me know. These are really cute. And it's, it's gonna be, yeah, it's cool. This one's gonna be super fun. So, I'm working on that, and then I've been working on mine a little bit. And I'm gonna, let's see, next I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna do, let's see. I'm trying to do too many things at once, y'all, but, um, I've also done these tags that I showed you guys the last time, one of the last videos. I've gone back and, um, you know, where I cut the, the cracker boxes up and then the gift wrap. So I've gone back and added ledger on the back of each one of these and stitched around them. If you can see the stitching, because I've been using white. So I stitched around all these and then put eyelets in them. Um, put eyelet cinnamon came back and put twine on them for these tags. So these tags are done. And that's just a really simple idea. You know, it's, um, you know, you cut your circles, you glue whatever you want on the front, and then you got journaling space on the back. And you can even write, you know, you can even write on here, or you could like put a little picture over here, or you could just use it as a journaling tag. Um, yeah. So that's the way to repurpose. These are all, you know, repurposed items. Um, the ledger, the, the boxes, and the gift wrap. And then of course my twine and um, eyelets. But yeah, really, really cute. They came out really cute. So all those are done. And then I'm uh, working on some little circles. So we're gonna work on that. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some tag things. Um, yeah, so I did all these little circles. Now these, um, yeah, my, my sewing machine was giving me a fit, but um, these I think I'm just gonna leave this back because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. I don't know if I'm, some of them will be little tags and then some of them may just be, well, um, 
I may do some paper clips. I'm gonna do some little embellishments on here. So like I'm gonna take some some of my little um, cutouts here, you know, and make little um, embellishments like with that and with the, where are my little, here, yeah, like the labels that I like to use. So, let's see. So this is another thing that I did prep wise is I went through and did all these, made all these labels. Um, I need to just spread them out, but I don't want to dump them out right now. So I just made, I have these stamps that Jessica sent me um, that are like the old Avery labels. And see that's stamped on file folders. So I don't like that with the white, but um, I need to use a white one. I just made a bunch of these because I like to do this. I like this in my layering because then it gives you a little spot to write something on. So like I'll do some of these little layering tags like this and then you need to throw a um, like a snowflake or something behind it. Like a little snowflake yeah. right up here. And then just, you know, glue that down and make a little tag or, or tuck or whatever. So I'm gonna do some of that. We're gonna come back and uh, play with that um, in one of the videos today. I'm gonna just keep dumping stuff everywhere. <clears throat> and that's kind of in my usual style. Um, and then I have all these scraps that we're gonna use. I may do some strips like I did last year, like some cluster strips. And then I have all these words. But then I had, I saw, um, who was it? What was her name? Um, okay, I'm drawing a blank. Saw somebody else making these tags and what she was doing, she was making them for Halloween. So what I did was I took some of my file folders and then um, I just cut sort of tag size pieces and then I took my little die cut. I don't have like a square, like a plain square die cut. So I used the one that I have, which is like this shape. And I just glued the paper, some of the paper scraps to that and then um, to the file folder and then cut that little piece out and stitched around it. And it also gives you these little pieces in here so that there's a square piece in the middle and then a frame. So you can use those too. But I thought these would be kind of neat. Um, she was, gosh, I can't remember her name. She was um, making Halloween tags and she was cutting the square in the middle and then she was kind of putting like ghosts and images and things like that in the window. But I thought for these that I would just make the tag and leave the window and maybe put some kind of embellishment down here so that you could put it on a page. You could put a photo, you know, photo in here or whatever you want. I was thinking photo. Um, yeah, so like a little like a little peekaboo window tag. So I made a couple of those. And then I just have some plain ones like this that I took um, file folder and I took time cards that I picked up at uh, Target, I think it was Target, that I used tissue paper on. And I wanna do something with these. Um, so, I don't know, I've got all these sort of base ones made up uh, with tissue paper and then the wrap paper. So, just took a bunch of, bunch of the time cards and a bunch of the file folder scraps that I had. So, we're going to do something with that. Something a little bit different than this. Yeah. And then, um, another... One of the things that I typically do is um, I took some other like file folder pieces and then I just took some images. Okay, so these will be flips. These will be flips. 
took some images from the Mercer Mayer book and just glued them on. And then I'm going to go back and use scraps and um, other little labels. And then I have these from KB and Friends that I made. Um, and this is just paper that I backed onto some of those green file folder scraps that I have. They stick, they stick files that Tamara sent me and made it into an actual, so it feels like an actual milk, you know, pog. So I may use some of these on here. Um, you know, other little bits. So I just kind of prepped some other, this is gonna be a pocket and something. That's just a scrap. And then, you know, took book pages and just did bases with um, book pages, depending on the image to make pockets and big tags and stuff like that using the red file folders. So there's a little pocket. This would be a big pocket. Yeah. So I sort of started those, so we'll play around with that. And then I cut out, fussy cut some of the little Mercer Mayer stuff. Plus I have all these other, I have all these other things over here, it's ridiculous ridiculous y'all all this stuff I have over here um, but I'm making a lot of books and I want to make a lot of embellishments so um, yeah I'm gonna come back and we're gonna work on that in a little bit so I hope this um, this gives you something to do for a little bit and work on some buttons you know or start with your with your circles if you want to make some circle tags or your images um you know and i'm going to use like little scrap bits i have of rickrack and um fabrics and stuff like that i add some of that to it my labels um if you have labels print you some labels uh, or whatever you want to use you know make look we're gonna make some little cluster things just so many possibilities um for tags and tucks and embellishments so yeah and uh, I hope this gives you some inspiration today and uh, I'm still trying to wake up y'all I need some more coffee <laughs> it's still early it's early it's early Sunday morning so hopefully this video will load quick and um, I can well I'll probably do another one before I load it and then have you a few videos today i hope we'll see how it goes all right and let me know if you have any questions um i will do my best to answer them if you have any but this is just so fun and something you can just sit with and you can use any kind of fabrics you know any kind of scraps you have laying around um i i did you know i did all kinds of them i did like um, you know, just, just little scrap pieces, like there's a ladybug, I mean, I know these are not Christmas, but you can just do this, um, I love these, right, I love this one right here, I love this blue fabric, I mean, that might be one of my, one of the motor or tilde fabrics, or, um, you can use jean, you can use blue jean, do your little western or country, journals you know and these little red ones um these little red ones and green ones can be used you know for christmas or um farmhouse or you know whatever so yeah let's hold one to them here really really fun <laughs> and super easy okay um and you might could you know i thought about um just using fabric I don't know how you would do that, but this is just my little idea. I thought it was just something a little bit different. Um, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of different um, ways to make your own, you know, your own buttons. Check out some other videos out there. I'll try to find, and I'll try to find um, the video where I watched the girl who was doing these tags. She's, um, I think her name's. I think it might be Monica Taylor. 
but I'm not positive, but I'll try to um, remember to find that video and link it. She does some really cool stuff. Um, anyway, there's so many creative people out there. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, I'll be back uh, later today. Well, just depends on how long it takes me to do videos and get them loaded, but hopefully you'll see a couple of videos from me today. All right, love you guys. See you soon. Bye.